Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about systems of unit. We use two systems of unit in engineering. One is the international system of units or SI, the other one US customary or FPS, which stands for foot, pound and second. Or also this one is referred to as British system. So it has three names for us. US customary, FPS or British uh, system. And the interesting thing is that in Britain, they don't use British system. In Britain, they switch to SI. So in terms of length, it's meter in SI unit, is foot in FPS system. Time is the same for both, it's seconds, mass, kilogram, and slog. So you need to remember that this one, the unit of mass, in British system is not pound mass, is slog. Or you could represent it as pound second squared over foot. And the force is Newton, and then for the British system is pound. You can see these two are derived unit. So let's say where does that Newton come from? It comes from the second law of Newton. So if you have F, equals MA or MG, depending on how we look at it, we want to find the unit of force. So the unit of force would be M, the unit of mass, which is kilogram, the unit of acceleration. Acceleration is meter second square, and we call this Newton. So that's why this comes from kilogram meter over second squared. For slug, it's the same thing. We have F, M, A. Here, we are going to find the unit for mass. So F is pound force. M, slug. And A is the acceleration. In British system, it's foot, second squared. So if I take slug out here, slug would be pound second squared over foot. So I can drive slug based on pound second and foot. So these two units are derived units. Remember that the unit for mass in British system is slug not pound mass. The next table shows us the conversion between the two. Each pound mass is 4.448 Newton, or each slug is 14.59 kilogram. Each foot is 0 0.3048 meter. You do not need to memorize this in, in exam. I will give you the conversion uh, rate. You just need to know how to use them. And uh, again, we have slug and kilogram. These are the two units that we use. We don't use pound mass, but if you want to use pound mass in some applications, each slug is 32.17 pound mass. Uh, these are the prefixes, so giga, mega, kilo, relating 10 to the power of 9, 10 to the 6, 10 to the third, and then we have milli, micro, and, and nano that, that we use here. And the kilogram is the only base unit that is defined with a prefix, so kilogram, and that's the base unit. So let's solve a couple of examples. We want to convert the quantities 300 pound second and 52 slug foot cubed to appropriate SI units. So we have the units in British system, we are going to change them to SI units. So you can pause the video now and then do the conversion and see whether you come up with the, with the same value. So let's start with the first one. It's 300 pound second. Is it pound mass or pound force? The answer is that it's pound force. I mean, pound mass is not uh, a unit that we use. It's usually used in conversations and in everyday 
that uses not in scientific terms. So the second would be the same in both. We just need to get rid of this pound. The way I do the conversion all the time is just I multiply it by one. So if I, I write this again here, I'm going to multiply it by one, which means that each pound would be 4.48 Newton. So this fraction is one. The numerator and denominator is the same. And then that way I can get rid of pound here and pound over there. Then I have Newton and second. So the answer would be 1.344 kilonewton second or Newton. So I just change it to kilonewton. So if you want to change the unit, if you want to get rid of pound, just put the pound in the denominator so they cancel each other out and then have it in, have Newton in the numerator. So the second thing that we want to do is 52 slug over feet cubed. So I need to multiply by one. I have a slug in the numerator. I want to get rid of that. So I put one slug here in the denominator. But what is the equivalent of a slug in SI? It's kilogram. And each slug is 14.59 kilogram. Also, I need to get rid of feet cubed. So here it's in the denominator. I need to put it in the numerator. So feet and each foot is 0.3048 meter and it's cubed so that's an important point that you need to pay attention to this will be cubed 0.3048 so I have foot cubed here and I have foot cubed here here slug Slug, so the unit that I get after all this multiplication would be kilogram uh, meter or meter cubed. So the answer would be 2.679, 10 to the fourth kilogram meter cubed, or I can write it in terms of instead of kilo, I can use mega. So I can write 26.79 megagram meter cubed. So you can see I'm not dividing anything or multiplying by any, any factor. I just multiply everything by one. And that makes it easier to make sure you're not making any mistake. The second practice is very similar. Water has a density of 1.94 slug. Uh, per foot cubed, what is the density expressed in SI units? So we are going to do unit conversion. So you could pause the video and uh, do the conversion to see what value you get. The density is 1.94. That's a quantity that we use very frequently in engineering. So I need to do the same thing. Multiply it by 1. I want to get rid of slug. So I have one slug here. And then 14.4, 14.59 kilogram. Same thing. 0 0.3048 meter cubed. And the answer I get 1.007 megagram meter cubed. Or you can think of it 1,000 kilogram per meter squared and that's the known density for for water the density of water is one house uh, in addition to unit conversion the most important thing that you need to pay attention is that you need to write units if you write a number of value without unit is meaningless so whether you're writing in homework or you're writing it in uh, your um, exams, you're going to lose points if you do not write the unit system. Each time you write a number, you need to be a com it needs to be accompanied by, by the unit system. And uh, once again, the unit system for mass is a slugging in British system. 
So if you have one pound of the, the force that one pound mass creates would be one pound force. That's why this has come to use. And you could you could prove that. So one pound mass let's write it this way. If you want we have to change it to slug. So each slug would be 32.17 pound mass. And I need to multiply it by G if I want to find a force that one pound mass will create. I have my mass, I change it to a slug, so I could use this equation. And then G, the gravitational acceleration in British system is 32.17. Then, and this one would be foot second squared. So you can see here, 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 and then I get one slug, one pound mass would give me one pound force. So you have noticed that we use m after pound to say that that's pound mass and f after pound to say that that's pound force that's not always the case if i just write pound that means that i'm talking about force because that's an actual unit but pound mass is not an actual unit